Okay, Dave, one old draw against a team uh, right up there fighting for the title. How do you feel? Uh, a little bit disappointed. Um, I thought first half we were a better side. Um, could have been three up, potentially two up, um, very early. But they grew into the game. Um, showed why they're going to be up there at the end of the season. So I think conditions played a part in it. First half we were on top, going down hill, wind behind. Second half they were on top, wind hill. Uh, go down, he'll win behind again. So, but we still had our chances. Speaking of which, uh, speaking to Hannah Nebert when she came off, she was talking about how all of her brilliant crosses that she puts in don't seem to go in. The one that she puts in that gets pushed down is the one that leads to a goal for Hannah Bodley, but a deserved goal. Yeah, a deserved goal. I thought we were good for our goal. Um, that's football. I mean, you, we've seen this season we've played some fantastic football and not got the results our football has deserved. Um, I thought last week was probably our worst performance of the season and we scored 6 and win 6-0 so maybe we're doing something wrong we should try and play bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, was, uh, it was a tough one, second half was always going to be tricky as you said going uphill but um, it was a little bit of a shame really because of the deflection because apart from that I felt like the team defended really well today. Yeah they stood up, um, Luton, it felt like Luton were throwing everything at us, um, they created a few chances to be fair to Luton and there was some scramble defending but the girls are putting their bodies on the line and they've made a number of blocks and this one's rather than getting cleared out he's come off uh, I think he came off was it Grace or I, I can't remember it come off but yeah he's come off someone and beaten today. Um, there was a few contentious decisions we've got to say there was a potential penalty shout for Lucen as well as two for ourselves yep. how do you feel that affects the mood of the game do you think that just ramps I, everybody up or? yeah I mean uh, both managers spoke to the referee at half time, we done it together. Um, and it's the frustration of the inconsistency. Uh, could we have had two penalties? I think one of them definitely was. All right, granted, I'm 60, 70 yards away. Um, their penalty, I think she's gone over knowing that we haven't been given ours. Um, but the, the referee, in the first 30 seconds, there's a tough challenge gone in. Wasn't the player wasn't spoken to. Um, if the referee even speaks to the player there and he takes control of the game, and it wasn't, it was one sided, it was inconsistent for both teams. And as players, they get frustrated with the decisions, as coaches, they get um, frustrated with the decisions. And it's been two sentences off, and it wasn't a game where you should have two sentences off. And the players, both players, have left the referee with no choice by kicking the ball away, both on a yellow card and kicking the ball away. So you can't really argue. But the frustration from kicking the ball away comes from the referee and decisions. Um, the assistants have got to assist and help the referees out. Um, they need to, uh, it needs to be looked at. Um, we, we talk about referees and we shouldn't be talking about referees, we should be talking about the game. And we, all, all the fans get frustrated with it, the coaches get frustrated with it, the players are getting frustrated with it. And, we, we need to be able to put reports, uh, put scores in where we don't have to write reports and there's an average and we can look. And the referees need help. They need the uh, more experienced referees, if they're not experienced, to come down and assess them and to help them. They need um, mentoring as well. They, they're going to make mistakes. I'm not, I'm not asking for perfection every time, but when the game gets away from a referee, and it's how both teams felt, when the game gets away from the referee, the spectacle of what was the game, people come out here and we're talking about the referee now, and we shouldn't have been. It's, it was a fantastic game of football. Um, it was, it could have been better, but for the referee decisions. Um, and we walk off, we've, we've got a point, they've got a point. I think they're probably going to stand there and say they're disappointed. We're going to stand there and say we're disappointed. But both teams will be talking about the referee, and it's not how it should be. Getting back to the game, obviously, returning Amy Makewell, what does she bring to the side that perhaps maybe we'd be missing? I won't say experience. <laughs> <laughs> um, look, Sophie Hendy's held the ball up brilliantly today. She's been absolutely superb, and I know Sarah Payne's been helping Sophie with a little bit, Makes has probably been helping her with a few tips here and there. And Makes is a fantastic player. You know, she links the player up well, her movement's superb. We talk about the penalties both times with probably fouls on her because of the movement and the hold up play and everything else that she brings. Um, 
missing her experience and just the talking in the changing room, the communication and everything else that she also brings is, is massive. And it's the same with Lucy, you know, they're big players for us and Sarah would have been as well and to have Lucy and Sarah out for the season is a big blow but we cope, we get on with it. And lastly, Matilda Thomas O'Keefe has come on now, two games on the trot, uh, playing perhaps in a slightly unfamiliar role for herself, but she's putting a good shift both times. Yeah, she's a good prospect. Um, she's got a lot to learn. Um, she's willing to learn. Um, sometimes she's a bit hard on herself and she beats herself up when she doesn't need to. Um, but yeah, she's a good she's a good girl. She's a good prospect for the future. Um, she might not potentially get all the game time in the first team and she might have to go and play the 23s and learn the game down there. But that's what it's there for. Um, she's come on for Nebs and Nebs is, we know, not going to last 90 minutes. Um, but yeah, no, she's come on, she's done really well both times she's come on, as you say, so she'll continue to learn. Same with Lily, and we've got a number of youngsters that are coming through. Excellent. Cheers, Dave. No worries, mate.